you may say, that's just the wind. Or you may say, Dick, that's just your imagination. But I'm here to tell you that that sound was really one of the many alien perpetrators that are on this planet. If you don't believe that, just listen carefully and see if you can find the hurt trailing that's underneath this floor as it squeaks to interrupt us. Mm -hmm. Fellow Toastmasters, let me tell you a little bit about Herkimer, the hurt trailing that I'm familiar with. Herkimer, of course, is a spy. Herkimer is here for one purpose, and that's to confuse the people on this planet. Which, of course, means to confuse humans. Which, of course, means to confuse us. And I'm telling you, there are times when I can be confused very easily. Now, the Hertralians are under the impression that if they confuse all of us on this planet, that then in the future someday, they will be able to inhabit the planet. Herkimer has the primary job of working with our silly, standard, inefficient transportation system. And he is good at what he does. Amongst all the many tricks that Herkimer plays, let me tell you just a few of them. Do, for example, the street signs. You're driving down the road, and you look up at this little green sign that you pass, and it's the name of the street you just passed. And when you get to the next corner, it's the name of that street. Herkimer's favorite trick is to take those signposts and turn them 90 degrees. So you're driving down the road and you say, oh, Sandy Boulevard. Oh, Sandy Boulevard? Oh, Sandy Boulevard? <laughs> to a visitor in Portland. I think they believe that every street in Portland must be named Sandy Boulevard. Another one of Herkimer's tricks is those left turn lanes. Aren't those wonderful? You swing over into the left turn lane and you see this little green arrow. And sometimes that little green arrow turns on before the oncoming traffic. So you get to go first and wave your hands at the people that want to go straight. And other times, those green arrows come on after the other traffic goes by and you get to go last. But Herkimer's trick is to make those little green arrows come on at different times. So sometimes you're driving along and you're rushing in there to get to the left turn lane and instead the other people get to go first you have to wait. And sometimes it's just the other case. You're running in there to get that green arrow, and it doesn't come on when you think it's going to. A purpose trick is to change the timing on the green arrows. So just when you think you're going to get the green arrow, you switch the timing and then now it's in the other condition. But his favorite trick is to wait until you see somebody frantically trying to get through that left turn lane, and then he just ignores the green arrow completely much to the frustration of that driver, who turns red with rage, just like the stoplight that he's looking at. But the big design problem that Herkimer created was with what we call the yield and verge lanes. Remember a long time ago, before Herkimer got here, every road was at right angles to each other. And you would come up to the stop sign and you would look both ways and then you would make your turn. Herkimer said, let's design a yield sign. So now you come up to the road and you don't know whether you're supposed to turn or stop. <laughs> One way or the other. And then he said, let's put in some curved ramps to confuse the drivers. So if you had intended on going straight and you get in that wrong lane, you're in trouble because that lane only turns right. And of course you can get in that lane and you can look in your side mirror and you can see the oncoming traffic. Herkimer made a design error. He realized that was too convenient, so he redesigned all of those merge ramps. So now you come in around that merge ramp, and it's a strict angle, and you look at your side view mirror, and it's looking back there when the oncoming lane's over there. So you turn your head to see if there's any traffic coming. You turn your head further, beyond the point of rotation. You still can't see the oncoming traffic. So you lean forward and let your upper body twist until your shoulder starts to pull away. But it can't go very far because of that belt that Herkimer designed to fly across your shoulder. 
So you turn it even further, turn your body, and your right hip comes up off the seat. And one of two things happens. Either you still can't see and you have to stop anyway, which frustrates all the drivers behind you, and Herkimer sets off all their horns in motion, <laughs> or else you are so busy looking to see if there's any traffic that you run into the yield side on the other side of the road. <laughs> but you may wonder, how can Herkimer be doing all these things? Remember that Herkimer is not limited to our human abilities or inabilities. And besides that, Herkimer is a secret team of helpers. You've seen the secret team of helpers. They wear bright orange vests. <laughs> and sometimes they say on them, road maintenance supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> and under Herkimer's hypnotic and puppet-like control, they have the ability to move the potholes anytime they want. <laughs> they have the ability to take all those speed bumps and move them from here to there to there. But most of all, Herkimer's favorite is to build those little concrete things that stick right in the middle of Sandy Boulevard that we call hubcap eaters and that you do not see on a dark and rainy night. So the next time you are driving down the road and the stoplights all seem erratic, the signs don't seem to be correct, the potholes are everywhere, look and watch carefully. Watch for a wisp of dust floating across the road. That is her career. <laughs> that is confusion. <laughs> <laughs>